The wingman has and always will be the meta in Apex Legends, but most players cannot hit a thing with it. Let me fix that. What is going on Angels the Champ Strider here and today's aiming episode is all about my favorite gun in Apex Legends, the Wingman and since Season 0 the Wingman has been OP but only in the hands of maybe 10% of the player base. It's a high skill ceiling weapon that punishes bad aim. So today we're going to use Kovacs 2.0 the meta to improve our mouse control skills so that we can hit more wingman shots. Kovacs is an aim trainer sold on Steam for $9.99 and it's probably the best way to drill your aiming fundamentals. Think of it like a, a boxer hitting pads before fighting. You need to drill your technique before you get into the game. So the routine of drills I'm going to give you guys is specifically for wingman or similar type weapon training. If you're new to Kovacs and the channel, you should become an angel by subscribing. I have a ton of content on my channel for you to explore and really dive into the fundamentals of aim. So now with the wingman and apex in general, it's very rare that you're shooting someone who's standing still. So we want to work on what's called click timing by practicing reading and reacting to movement and clicking at the proper time. So we're going to dive right into the deep end here by typing one wall, five targets, pass two in the search bar. This is a classic click timing drill where you shoot as many moving targets as you can in one minute. And the average score on this drill is really, really low, which means a lot of people struggle hitting moving targets. And I think you'll find if it's your first time on Kovac, your aim on this drill will be very similar to your aim with the wingman. And before I forget, we're going to do this drill and all the following drills five times each because we're aiming at a half hour training routine. Second drill up, we have another click timing exercise with bounce 180, which will add some verticality to the moving targets. Try and snap directly from target to target whenever possible and avoid just placing your crosshair in front of the bot and waiting on it. Third up, we have floating head timing 400%, which adds a precision element to our training as the moving bots are much smaller than the previous drills. And this is really good for practicing clicking heads with the wingman. And again, whenever possible, try and smoothly just snap target to target without waiting for the bots. Next up, we have ascended man wing, where you can really let rip with the shots more rapidly to take down some pretty quick moving bots. And this drill, the bots, they'll jump and wiggle, really simulating those TTV Wraith players really, really well. So next up, we're going to add a new element to our training because it's so important in Apex to not only be able to hit moving targets, but to move yourself while shooting accurately. For this, we're going to start with Passu Dodge Easy, where we practice our ADAD movement while shooting at wiggling targets. And for our last drill, we're going to end with kind of a, a close range movement shooting drill with Pistol Strafe Gallery Sparking. In this drill, you can kind of let rip with the follow up shots a little more to practice staying on a quick moving target for multiple shots in a row. All right, Angels, that brings us to the end of today's episodes. If you put in 30 minutes a day of aim training, I can guarantee your fundamental aim will improve in Apex. And let me know in the comments how you're doing on the Kovacs routine. I'll see you guys soon. Champ out.